In this video, I will show you how to solve and graph six and inequalities, so six compound inequalities. For solving these inequalities, we want to solve both the low and the high side of your inequality at the same time. And so notice how our x is in the middle. What I want to do is isolate the letter x and solve to both sides at the same time. So when I want to isolate x and I need to add 8, I actually need to do it to the bottom side of my inequality, the less than, and then to the greater than number over here. And so I kind of think about it as solving both sides. Now when I simplify here, I'm going to get 6 is less than or equal to 3x, which is less than or equal to 18. And now when I divide by 3, I just have to do it to the low end and the high end of my inequality. So now I'll have 3 is less than or equal to x and less than or equal to 6. And so my graph would look something like this. I'm going to circle 3 and shade it in, circle 6 and shade it in, and then shade in the middle. For letter B, what I'm going to start with is subtracting 3, but again from both sides. And now I'm going to have negative 8 is less than or equal to 2x, less than 4. And now when I divide by 2 to isolate my x, I just have to do it to both sides of my inequality. So negative 4 is less than or equal to x, and at the same time less than 2. So my graph would look something like this. So I'm going to circle 4 and shade it in, circle 2, and then the middle in between those would be my solution set. Okay, so I'll do four more examples with you. Or if you want, pause the video now and try these and see if you can get the right answers. Just remember if you were to multiply or divide by a negative, your symbols have to flip. Okay, so for this example to get my x alone, so here's my two inequalities, I'm gonna start by adding two to both those sides. So now I'm gonna have zero less than negative x less than 3, and now when I divide by negative 1, I just cannot forget to flip that sign. Now 0 divided by anything is 0. Now my symbol is going to flip, and this symbol is going to flip, but now this is facing the wrong way. Because your and inequality should go from least to greatest, now this is out of order. And so what I'm going to do is put it in the correct order. I need the negative 3 on the lower side and the 0 on the higher side and my x in the middle. Now look at if my inequality is opening up towards the x, it is still opening up towards the x. Notice how this inequality is pointing at the x and open towards the 0 open towards the zero and pointing at the x. So this says the same exact thing. So this would be the best way of writing that inequality. This isn't wrong, it just wouldn't be the best way of writing it. And then as I draw my graph, here's negative three, negative two, negative one, zero. I'm gonna circle zero and negative three and shade in the middle there. Now for this example on D, I'm going to add 1 to each side, and now I'm going to get negative 2 is less than negative 2x is less than 6, and now I'm going to divide again by a negative, so I can't forget that i got to flip that sign, actually both signs. So I have positive 1, flip my sign x is in the middle, flip my sign, and then negative 3. Notice how, again, this is out of order. So the correct order would be negative 3 on the left because that's lower, 1 on the right because that's higher. Now notice, I'm not actually flipping my signs because we have this pointing at the negative 3 and opening up towards the x. This is the same symbol, but now the order is correct. 
is again here, we're opening up towards the one and pointing at the X. It's the same inequality symbol. So our solution would be in between negative three and one. And on the number line, that would look like this. So I'm gonna circle one, circle negative three, and shade in the middle. And now for the last two, I'm gonna start by subtracting four on both sides. So I'll have three is less than my x is less than four. So in between three and four. And for this last one over here, I'm gonna add eight to both inequality um, ends here. So four plus eight would give me 12, less than or equal to negative x, less than 15. And now I'm gonna divide by negative one. So I cannot forget to flip my sign. So negative 12, flip my sign flip my sign and now negative 15. And now this is in the wrong order because negative 15 is lower. And plus since we flipped our signs because we divided by a negative, now I'm gonna reorder it. So negative 15, notice how it's opening up towards the X. And then again, opening up towards negative 12 here and that one had an equal to sign. So here's negative 15, negative 14, negative 13, negative 12. I'm gonna circle my negative 12 and shade it in. Circle 15 and leave it open and then shade in the middle.